Hello friendos, it's Bella from the Bookish Badger and today I'm coming at you guys with the How I Read book tag. I was tagged to do this by the ever-lovely Margaret over at The Word Nerd. I will link her video and her channel down below and without further ado, let's get into this tag. Question number one is how do you find out about new books to read? That is, there are so many ways that I find out about new books to read. There is Goodreads, different lists and recommendations on Goodreads, what I see my other friends reading on Goodreads. Um, there are, of course, books that I read or that I skim dedicated entirely to telling you about how great other books are. And there are magazines that my mom gets telling her about what great books there are, and then she tells me about those books. My mom is a big source of reading recommendations. There's, of course, course, booktube. Oh my gosh, so many reading recommendations from there, just from my friends in general and my family in general. There's TV and news and stuff that I see books I want to read on. There are all sorts of lists. There's like the PBS list. Um, just everywhere. Everywhere is where I found out, find out about um, new books to read. Just all the time. It gets overwhelming. Question number two is how did you get into reading? Um, long story short, it's a mixture of my mom reading to my brother and I when we were younger and both of my parents just being big readers and always advocates for reading and books and of course my mom worked at a library and all that. Um, and then the books that got me into reading would be uh, a good mixture of Ella Enchanted and Harry Potter. Those are what solidified my reading and my parents started me on a love for reading. Question number three is how has your taste in books changed as you've gotten older? And I think the main thing is that I pay so much more attention to writing and writing style now than I used to because when I was younger it was almost entirely, I focused almost entirely on plot and then second most characters and then I really did not care at all about writing style. I just kind of thought it was all the same but the more I read the more I, you know, could differentiate between what I felt was really stellar writing and what was pretty average writing or not good writing in my eyes. Now what I focus on the most is almost reversed from what it used to be. Almost reversed. The topmost thing for me is characters, although I feel that is closely, closely linked to writing and writing style. So the second most thing I look for is writing style. And then the last thing I look for is plot. Because to me, to me, um, you can have great characters and an okay plot and I will still love the book, but if you have a great plot and sort of fallen flat characters, I I don't like it. I just don't care about the book at that point because if you don't have somebody you can root for and somebody you really love as a character, then I don't care how good your plot is. It just doesn't matter to me. Oops. Question number four is how often do you buy books? Now at full price, I only buy books when I've already read it and it's something that I want to own or when I'm really, really, really deeply convinced I'm going to love it. But then where I get a lot less discriminant, uh, where I'll just like buy a book if it's on my to read list or if I heard somebody say something good about it one time is when I go to library sales because y'all those things are like saving graces. I once went to a library sale where it was like fill up a whole giant paper bag for four dollars. I fit like 18 books in there and I got them for four dollars. Like what? What? And then there are so many more where it's like, oh, buy any hardcover for a dollar and any paperback for 50 cents. So that's where my real weakness lies and that's where the bulk of my book collection has come from. Um, I probably buy more books than I should because there's probably a few books that I've bought that it's more like, oh, I might read this one day because I heard it was kind of good. I don't know. And I should probably refrain from buying those books even at things like library sales. Um, but sometimes the sale is just too good, you guys. You, you know, you feel? Question number five is how did you get into booktubing? So I wanted to create a YouTube channel for a very, very long time. Most of that time, 
I thought that I wanted it to be a singing channel. There were parts, you know, in my life based on what age I was and what I was into where I strayed into thinking I wanted a doll review channel or I wanted a hairstyle tutorial channel, but mainly I wanted a singing channel. But that all changed when I saw Read by Zoe's How to Annoy a Reader video because I was like, what? There's a community on YouTube that talks about books? Excuse me? Um... I, and I was watching more videos and I was like, uh, how, how, how do I enter this? I, I want to be a part of this. This looks like so much fun. Everybody looked so nice just based on like the comments and the content that was being created. I was like, this is apparently the nicest corner to exist on the internet. Okay. Um, wow. I'm sorry I've been missing out on this for so long. So I watched a bunch of, you know, those booktube 101 type of videos and things like that and I made my first video and here I am. Question number six is how do you react when you don't like the ending of a book? Um, the bulk of it is ranting to my mom about the book. Sometimes I rant to my friends and sometimes I rant to booktube. You know there's been a negative review or two on this channel but yeah the I'd say the, the biggest part is usually ranting to my mom, the most common for me. Question number seven is, how often do you take a sneak peek at the end of a book to see how it ends? Never? Um, I'm not a Neanderthal, thank you very much. Um, bold of this tag to assume that I am? Who does this? Who does? I, I will say, sometimes I flip to the end to see what what page how many pages there are basically um and sometimes my eyes just do this thing where they they flit around i can't i can't stop it um and sometimes i'll see like the last word of the book but usually it doesn't give away diddly squat and i've trained myself to cover whatever the ending is so i can just like look at the page number but i never intentionally look at the end who how is this a question? I can't believe people do this. That's that's so wrong. Doesn't that mess with like your morals? Question number eight is the tagging question. Who are you going to tag? And I will be tagging Q from Professor Q's College of Books and Serenity Dawn from the story. I really hope to see you guys do this one. All right, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you again to Margaret for tagging me. I would love to hear from you guys what you thought of this video, if you read anything like how I do, or if your answers would have been anything similar, or if you want to do this tag, or if you have done this tag, let me know so that I can watch it. Any of it, all of it, please leave it in a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Do not hesitate to subscribe for more content coming soon, and I will see you in the next video. Bookish Badger, signing off.